So I've kind of had a lot of guns just sitting in my inventory for a while now. I've just pretty much started collecting the engraved weapons when they go on sale. I'll grab them because uh, I'm kind of trying to collect all the weapons in the game at this point. All the ones that are actually buyable. Uh, in the last eight years or so, I've pretty much acquired everything in the game. And I thought, why not start working on the engraved weapons? So I've got the 9.3 engraved, as you saw. The 7mm Bocatine, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, that one is engraved. And the 308 Highwayman. Uh, so this should be fun. I don't know how many engraved weapons I have on me, but I'm going to try to get at least one kill with all of them. I'm just going to move from tent to tent uh, as we go around and just see like how however many animals between uh, one tent and the next. That'll be the amount of animals we take. And I do have a white tail buck uh, actually right there. And since he's far away and I don't feel like actually calling him in, let's use the 7mm. Uh, break action on him. This is one I've never used. I did use the 308 Highwayman in one video, I think, uh, but I've never actually fired this gun. I imagine it sounds the same as the normal 7mm break, but I don't actually know. Yeah, same sound, but it's a really nice looking gun. Uh, the engraving on it are quite nice, as you can see. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to try to showcase these guns in this video. I'm just going to use them uh, because I've never done so before, so why not? But there is our buck. Let's take one last look at this 7mm because I'm not sure we'll be using it again. It all depends, again, on how many animals we see between here and the next tent. But let's see what we got for our first animal. Not bad. Hard shot at 107.5 meters. 117 score on him. And one 7mm Magnum Break Action Rifle Bocatine Harvest. That's not a bad looking whitetail. 130 to 155 on the score estimate. And I think I'll actually use the 9.3 engraved on this one. This gun actually has a kind of funny uh, backstory to it as to why I have it. I was on Expansive World stream. I was actually like on the stream. I was invited by Tree Kiwi to actually join. Uh, and they held a competition to guess the score of a red deer the Tree Kiwi had shot. I did not have the stream on my other monitor. He told us the score estimate and I guessed it, I think within like 0.5 or something. And I actually won, which I felt really bad about because I was on the stream. Uh, but yeah, I actually ended up getting this 9.3 uh, as a competition kind of prize. So I think it's going to be fitting to take a nice animal with it as the first harvest. So I actually kind of want him to get out of the water because I'd like to get a trophy shot of him just because of that like kind of unique story. But the bad thing is I'm laying so close to the water, he's going to notice us rather soon, so I better be uh, just ready for that. Once he stops or notices us, I'll take my shot, or when he just gets too close, because I am pretty much to the point where I can do that. Gotta love that 9.3 sound. It's one of the best uh, in the game, and let's just see what we got for this guy. He's probably close to 150. 150 on the dot, as I mentioned. How is that? Like, actually, pretty much guess the score of an animal... Uh, that I just shot with a gun that I won because I guessed the score of an animal. That's actually really cool, but 6.3 meters away, double lung shot. Let's take a trophy shot of that. Not bad at all. I tried to choose a pose that kind of shows off the gun, but none of them really show off the engraved markings too much, and I thought, why not just show off the buck itself then? But that was actually kind of cool that I guessed the score of an animal that uh, I shot with a gun that I have specifically because I was able to guess the score of another animal. That just kind of made me laugh. And we are actually straight on to another nice buck. He is a high rack in 150 to 170 square estimate, so he's actually going to be bigger than the last one as well. And the gun we've not yet used is the 308 uh, Highwayman, so we'll use that. And actually, uh, even though it's a pistol, it's got plenty of power, so we might as well just take him there while he is standing still. He did spook, so uh, he's not going to come in. And he is down. Not bad. I just saw another buck actually take off over there. I don't know if he was anything decent. Let's see if we can tell... Yeah, that looks like a pretty nice buck as well, so we'll have to go over there and check that out. Uh, I don't know if he was bigger, but he definitely didn't look half bad. Let's go see what we got on this guy, though, first. Pretty cool, we're getting a decent spot of whitetail bucks. Actually, we've had nothing but whitetail bucks. Haven't even had a doe in our way so far. It's been pretty good, so I'm definitely going to stay on this server for a while, but let's see. What do we got for a score here? 164.6, not bad at all with that left lung shot. Uh, and I guess, yeah, let's take a trophy shot because I think that does actually give some time uh, for the other animals to move around. So maybe that other buck can calm down a bit. I actually really like this picture showing off the engraved pistol so well and still got a pretty nice view of that 164 scoring whitetail rack. So let's go see uh, what we had in that other one because he looked like he had a pretty good rack on him as well. And there he is right there standing on top of a rock with that huge rack. That's actually really cool. 165 to 185 on that guy getting increasingly bigger and we do have a trophy shot already of a whitetail buck with the 9.3 and the 308 highwayman so i guess we'll use the 7mm uh for this just to get a trophy shot with all three 
And just like that, he is down. So I'm hoping that's going to be a 180 plus. He looked like he was like 175 to 180, somewhere in that range. So fingers crossed for that. But that's actually really good. Uh, just three pretty solid bucks in a row. And I can't imagine that there's anything to this. I'm sure it's just one of those uh, scenarios where everything just works out perfectly. But the figures, the one hunt where we bring uh, like the expensive rifles uh, in the game, to put it that way, we end up actually getting a lot of big animals. Uh, just kind of funny that that worked out. Uh, as it did, but where was this guy? I think he was standing on this rock right here, if I'm not mistaken, so he should be just down behind it, and I can see his antlers sticking up. Yeah, he does not look bad. He could top 180 for sure. Not quite 175.6. It was a right lung shot uh, at 113 meters, so let's get the trophy shot with that 7 mil. Not too bad. I'm not a huge fan of the way my player model is looking, but in terms of actually showing off the gun and the deer... This looks pretty good. I only hope this can go up from here, but I don't know. Three big bucks in a row. Can we make it four? Uh, we still got some room to go before the next tent so I can actually switch out weapons. We've got to make it to here. So anything else we get between here and there will take as well. We do have a bull moose out here. Slightly lower standards than we've gotten used to the last couple of kills. 75 to 95 actually. Uh, that is kind of sad, but we are just going to go in order. We're back to the 9.3 engraved. Uh, and let's see if we can actually manage to drop this guy. I just gave him a call, so he should start to come in. And, of course, he's going to hide his heart behind that branch. So I'll have to scoot over here before we can take our shot. That is pretty much in the clear there. And that should be a heart shot. Not bad at all. Uh, this gun actually looks really good as well. I know I said I wasn't going to showcase the guns. That wasn't the point of this video. It was just to actually hunt with guns that I have uh, and never get to use. But... It does look quite nice. The engravings in it are really, really good. I never really, like, looked at it specifically, and you can't tell that much uh, in the, like, little picture you get in the store. So I'm actually quite impressed with this one. Pretty decent-looking uh, rifle for sure. But let's go see what we got on this moose. Obviously, it's nothing special, but I don't know. Could that actually beat my personal worst moose? I think my personal worst is, like, 77 or something like that. So it would be tough, but he's definitely really, really tiny. I think he's a little bit bigger than that, though. Yeah, 91 score on him, but a heart shot. Not bad, 107 meters away. All right, so we've made it to our tent, and I've switched up the lineup for what we have. I've got the 270 engraved, which, again, actually looks really good. I, I kind of ended up kind of showcasing everything in this video that I've got on me. Uh, the 4570 engraved, which is actually a lot smaller than I expected it to be. Like, comparing it to the 270, like, the actual size of the gun itself, I did not realize how small it is. Uh, and then uh, another one that I've actually used, the 45 Long Colt, uh, I think it is the Mule. I'll actually have to look. Uh, because one is the mule and one is the stallion. That's what this one is. Uh, so that's what we've got for the rest of the hunt. I think our luck on white tail bucks might have started to run out. 45 to 70 on this guy, and we are left with only the 270 as an option uh, for the white tail. So we'll try to get him with that. I don't think I've shot this one yet either. That's a pretty decent start though for this rifle. That might have been a hard shot. Uh, and let's jump down and see how we did. But yeah, this actually is a really good looking rifle. This is the, I don't know if it's called the Grey Wolf. It came out with the uh, the Grey Wolves or right after them. So we'll take a look at that after I grab this deer. But yeah, it's a pretty good looking gun as well. I was quite impressed with it when I actually grabbed it. It went on sale rather recently. Was not a hard shot actually. Left lung and that actually dropped him in his tracks. 56 score on him. And by the way, since uh, uh, we're talking about all these engraved rifles, this is the Grey Wolf. Uh, but the 9.3 engraved, I think, is on sale right now if you wanted to pick that up. Uh, so just wanted to throw that out there. And we have a another buck out there. So I guess we'll try to bring him in and get him with the 270 as well. Actually, we have a bull moose here. And I kind of want to take him with the 45 uh, Long Colt Stallion because you need kind of close range, uh, not too much penetration required shots to actually drop animals. I feel like a hard shot on a moose is probably good, although he does see us through that brush. So this could get somewhat interesting. Really? I thought he would just run. That's kind of not what I expected. There we go. And down he goes with that heart shot on the 45. That actually sounds really good, but the problem I've had with this gun is it's just not that powerful. So there's not a really good reason to have it over something like even, say, the 454. 
but at 9.9 .9 meters on that moose, it worked just fine. A heart shot 104 score, uh, and I'm sure that whitetail buck is long gone. And we are straight back to tiny whitetail bucks, 55 to 80 on this guy, uh, but we will take him with the 270 regardless. And I thought I heard another one, but I think that's actually just his footsteps. Uh, I did see another tiny whitetail buck, so I assumed it might have been that. Uh, but yeah, it was either one that was roughly the same size as this or this one. So let's see if we can get a actual heart shot here. Well, that's not a hard shot. He's running off, so that might have been straight body then. I'm not sure. It looks like there's lung blood there. Uh, maybe not. Nope, that is body blood. I don't know if that'll bring him down or not. I think it will, so we'll just give him some time uh, to expire. Yeah, uh, 43 to 59% already. He's not going far. And here he is just in front of us. I do wonder, like, how we didn't get, like, a lung or something on that shot. I must have shot under the lungs into the side of the heart or something like that. But regardless, it was able to bring him down without too much trouble. It was just straight body, but a 37 second wound time. So he just ran, I think, uh, until he dropped and 60.160. At least he's over 56. I think that was the other small one we had. All right, so we finally have a chance to use the 4570 engraved on a somewhat subpar moose 110 to 135. But I'm definitely looking forward to using this gun and maybe loading it as well might be a decent idea. But man, look at the markings on that. It looks so good. Uh, this gun's been out for forever now, and I don't know how long I've had it, but this will be my first shot with it, so let's try to make it a good one uh, as he is standing there broadside. Just a straight up double lung drops him there, so I think that is all of the engraved weapons I have uh, actually being used. I have a total of six. I checked it out when I went to the tent and grabbed the new ones here so that should be all of them we'll do a little more hunting with these uh but i definitely can't complain about this we've had we haven't had anything big in a while but the three nice white tail bucks back to back to back were really really uh just a bonus for this because i was just out to get some shots with these rifles that i've just had kind of sitting in my closet so to say uh but yeah a couple of really nice bucks in this hunt but let's go see what we have on this guy probably like 120s maybe low 130s if we're lucky but i don't think uh, he's quite there, but, uh, maybe. He'll be close. Yeah, 131.118, uh, double lung shot at 112.8 meters, dropped him in his tracks. It's definitely a good thing we had some big animals early on, because we are getting nothing but tiny animals, uh, for the last, like, five or six now, but I realized we were pretty much set up to just get two shots, uh, or two harvests with each of the engraved weapons that we have. We've got two with the first three, uh, and two already with the 270 engraved. So if we can use the, uh, 45 Long Cold Stallion on this guy, and then if we can find something else for the 4570 government engraved, that will probably wrap this up. Uh, so we want to let this guy get nice and close so we can make the heart shot with the 45, because if we don't get a heart shot, um, maybe we can clip along, but otherwise this guy is going to run for miles, so we definitely don't need that. Uh, so if he will stop, we'll go for the shot. Hopefully he'll actually stop and not just try to walk into us. Although it looks like, there we go. And dropped him there. Man, that, that sound is actually really, really good. I might start hunting, hunting with this gun just for that. But as I've said, it's not really the best in terms of power. And you can see that here, like it's only hitting the heart. I was shooting straight back. So I definitely could have got other organs, uh, if it had the penetration, but even at nine meters, it's only penetrating through to the heart. Uh, but 88 score on him, and let's go find one less animal for the 4570 engraved. And I think if this guy will just about work for our final harvest of the video with the 4570 government engraved, 320 to 365, and he looks like he's somewhere uh, in the mid-range of that. So let's go for the shot. We're going to crouch up so we can see a little better. Uh, see if we can get double lung. And just like that, he is down. So starting off strong, a lot of like really mediocre animals in the middle, and then ending with a pretty nice elk, so yeah, I think he could be like maybe 340, not bad at all. And he is 324, so a little smaller than I thought, really right at the bottom uh, of that estimate, but definitely a welcome sight after all the small animals we've had. Unfortunately though, he wasn't in the sunlight, and I am seeing some deductions now uh, as to why he didn't score quite as high as I thought, but yeah, I decided to go with a normal trophy shot, or uh, really not actually using a trophy shot pose here, just to show off the 4570 government, and since we don't have much sunlight, uh, it's not showing off that much, but that was actually a lot of fun. It was great to get to use those guns uh, that I've not really used at all so far, and I mean, it went rather well. Four pretty good animals uh, during the duration of the hunt, I think four out of 12, so 
not bad at all and uh yeah that is gonna pretty much do it for this video so thank you guys for sticking around to the end it is very much appreciated and i will see you next time